Hi everyone, so now oh, today we're going to have a chat about the uh, riser blocks for the um, Myford ML7. I think it, I think they work on the Super 7 as well. I'm not sure about the Myford 10s. So, um, so two purposes really: one to uh, get the bed a little bit higher off the ground and or the workbench, um, and two to give you uh, an opportunity to try and level the bed. Um, so just to give you again the, you know the reason for this uh, video is because none of the uh, the information seemed to be available on the web so I thought I'd just knock something up for you whatever I found so uh, just to give you an idea of the size of uh, um, of the uh, the block you do it in inches because it's a my foot I guess it's about Six and a six inches and an eighth long or, or length, and what's that just under four inches? Yeah, I think I measured it. Uh, yeah, and deep depth is about um, five one and five eighths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did measure some of these before, so. I'm not that. Uh, so next, um, next thing, uh, we've got two studs, and the distance between that is four and seven eighths. So that's quite important because you're going to need to drill your holes through your um, through your workbench for that. So um, it's a pretty simple sort of approach. You um, drill your hole through your workbench, drop those down. And then on the this side, sorry, uh, if we go back there, there's slot for O-rings, so your O-rings can go over um, and then create a seal. So if you're using coolant, you won't all end up on the floor. Uh, my plan is to um, silicon all around here um, to ensure, uh, well not ensure, but to attempt to stop the... Uh, any uh, coolant ending up on the floor. Um, so if we turn it round, we've got uh, on this side, we've got these adjusters. So it's uh, these. These are just simple studs. Uh, if you buy the the riser block second hand, you can get them from Myford. So slightly longer on one end. Bit of. Uh, plain uh, unthreaded area and smaller on this end so unfortunately these weren't these were too short for for me because of the um, the workbench is too too long so I just bought some bar and tapped the thread myself um, so we've got as I say we've got the adjusting ones so all you do they, they go in there so once you've bolted the actual riser to the to the deck or to the workbench you then set your lathe on top and then because you've obviously got four of these it allows you to individually uh, adjust uh, the, the fixing points to allow you to level the lathe um, so I think that's quite a Quite a useful sort of um, thing to do and, and I'm quite keen to do that. I'm going to uh, attempt to, when I, when I do this, put them on, I'm going to put the these at the bottom and adjust coming, coming up because I'm not a very tall chap and therefore I don't want to actually get the thing any higher than I, um, than I need to. Uh, another consideration if you use the spanner, you'll need for these because once the uh, once the um, the lathe beds are on here, if you've got a let's turn that around, if you've got a spanner thicker than the um, the nut, you're not going to be able to use it. Uh, 
so you, you need to just have a you know good preparation for that i guess arguably if you had the um if you had the the riser block up you could but as i said you know if you're a bit of a short person like myself that's not really what you want to do so what other things have i written down uh it's a quarter whitworth nut so that's fun good old british thread um i've got some things written down here uh, the the nuts, the threads on the bar, uh, five sixteenths BSF. So again, pretty readily available. All this stuff, uh, uh, and I just bought a uh, a die and just threaded them myself. So it's not um, it's not too too challenging. So the other thing in preparation that I've got, just move move them out of the way. It's a couple of blocks of wood. So uh, what uh, the plan is, is to um, push the lathe out of the way, fit the riser blocks, do all the um, silicon, um, and then uh, lift, the, lift the lathe onto these, and then slide them parallel to the, um, the riser blocks. And then drop the uh, so I can get the alignment with the holes on the uh, on the lathe perfect and then it's just just be a matter of moving them out of the way and drop lowering the lathe down um, with these only being um, 5 sixteenths you know they're not that strong and a miford you know adds up to a fair bit of weight so really you, the last thing you want to do is get it all there and bend these so I'm quite sort of Cautious. and this this seems obviously this will be uh, lower and this is higher than the threads so or, or the stud so that's the plan if I uh, move you over here let me have a look at the lathe so a bit freehand now again so if I just turn the lathe up bolted down at the moment so let me, uh, not so well planned out here chaps, I could get rid of this bit with the miracle of editing can I? So, just to show you. So that's where that fits. And what I'm going to have is a riser block or the, the block of wood there. I'm going to lift the, lift the lathe onto the wood, line up, line up the holes directly above here. And then I should just be able to then just take the slight weight off that and pull it, pull it away. So that's the approach. Um, obviously, with the front end of the lathe, the uh, the business end it's quite a whole lot heavier so uh, but again you've just got the same same situation there's there's doesn't appear to be a left and right hand block it all, all seems to be the same so uh, what what I'm going to do is do this uh, off camera because I you know we're a load of old men here in this workshop and uh Huffing and puffing, trying to lift this thing up. I think we'd rather do it uh, away from, uh, <laughs> or not have it recorded. But what I do as soon as um, I've got it back on the, um, got the lathe on the blocks, I'll uh, bring you back and let you have a look and see how we got on. Okay, thank you. Just a little update. I've now got it up onto some blocks, although these ones. They need to be the other way round, so I haven't got the height yet, but uh, <coughs> I've managed to um, do this on my own, so uh, I need the assistance of the guys because it's getting a bit too heavy now. But anyway, just a little update and uh, I'll bring you back when uh, I've got the um, the risers all, well, when it's all done. Okay, thanks. <coughs> so we got the uh, the riser blocks fitted. Uh, both ends and so it's actually um, what I did uh, 
I, I managed to do all this on my own without the help of the guys. When I was at home um, last night, I was having a bit of a think about it, and um, I thought uh, a scissor jack from from a car would probably um, allow me to, you know, lift it up with uh, not too much trouble. So uh, I did that this morning, um, and just uh, turned the blocks round as you saw. Um, and then, uh, oh, as I, I spoke about before, push the um, push the push the lathe back, um, and then um, silicon the um, the blocks, uh, drop them down through down through the holes, put stuff through the holes, put the nuts on, and um, everything uh, everything went to plan. Actually, it was um, surprisingly easy. And then I just um, pulled the lathe back and and got the um, the holes on the bed above above the studs, and then slowly um, just went from um, from side to side, and all I did was uh, just dropped it down by about five mil <coughs> on each end, all, all, alternating each end, so it was sort of stepping down um it didn't it didn't have a negative impact on the um the studs and it just uh slowly dropped dropped down onto the um onto the adjustment screws that i showed you earlier on in the video and then um yeah it, it was all relatively simple then i um i got my level out and just um adjusted adjusted the adjusted the screws to get it level that way and also that way it was quite it was fairly level um that this way this way it was tremendously out and it, um yeah it was um it was really dipping down this side so i bought i leveled all that up it took quite a bit of messing around to get it sort of right um so what my plan now is to uh probably once a, a week for the um the next month or so just to do a double check and just do any tweaks as it everything settles down um yeah yeah it was it was quite um quite a simple um job yeah yeah i was quite surprised and um and and it it's amazing how much better it is. I I would recommend this to anyone, whether you buy the buy the genuine Myford ones or make your own. You know, um, I think there's a I've seen a guy who's made his own on YouTube, uh, Brendan uh, Gill, I think it is, um, he, and he he seemed fine. Um, but what it it really does seem to be a big bonus is. You just suddenly create this space underneath, so cleaning all the uh, all your swarf and everything. So general maintenance, it's a lot. Um, it's a lot, e lot easier. Um, I was originally um, my big concern was, and I mentioned it earlier, not being very tall, whether the life would suddenly become just just too far up, and I'd end up with some sort of duck board or pallet or something and i'll be standing on that trying to trying to work the lathe but actually it, it's all right um yeah yeah i was quite pleased so i've got a little job to do for someone um so that was quite amazing um so I'll, I'll give it a bit of a test day um tomorrow or, or the following day but uh yeah very very pleased with it and um yeah i'm quite surprised how how um, pleased I am that I, that I've done it, and um, yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. Okay, well, I, I hope um, I hope the or uh, oh, this video will be of interest or help really to uh, anyone trying to do do this in the future. Okay, well, thanks very much, and cheerio.